This series of problems is going to compute the rate or the interest rate uh, for a uh, given series of cash flows. All right, Fred wants a million in his retirement account by the time he retires in 20 years. All right, so he's going to make 20 years of payments of $5,000 each until he has a hundred or rather a million dollars and he also has already put two hundred thousand dollars into the account. But notice that the direction or the, the sign for PV and payment has to be the same. Put that money into the account at the beginning he's going to put that money into the account for each of the ends. That means that the FV will have to be a different sign. All right, so if we're going to solve for rate, the Excel function is rate open parents number of periods payment present value future value hit the OK button. He'll have to earn about 7.125% in order to meet his goals. John traded $80,000 for a series of monthly payments of $1,000 a month over the next 12 years. All right, so he's given up $80,000 today in order to receive $1,000 a month for 12 months a year over a 12-year period. So that would be 144 payments, grand total of $1,000 each, and then he gets nothing else. After that, what's the annual rate he's earning? I'm just going to copy this down rather than type in the stuff again. The annual rate he's going to get, though, we need to actually convert that because this is a monthly rate. So to get the annual rate, I have to convert the monthly rate into an annual rate by multiplying it by 12. And there's my answer. 10.94% is the annual interest rate he's earning. He's actually earning a monthly rate. We have to convert that by multiplying it by 12 to convert it into an annual rate because we talk about interest rates on an annualized basis. All right, Victor deposited 10000 in a savings account on his 21st birthday, joined the Foreign Legion, came home 30 years later, and found his savings had grown to 94000 What rate did he earn? Okay, so he was gone for 30 years. We're solving for rate. He took 10000 out of his pocket the day, the day he left didn't add anything to it, and he came back and was able to put 94000 back into his pocket. All right, solving for rate, number of periods, payment, present value, future value. Hit the OK button, add a couple of decimal places. He was earning around 7.755% annualized interest. All right, this is a common one you run into in the real world when you go to buy a car because car salesmen usually talk to you about car payments rather than the total amount you're paying. All right, we can get you into this used min minivan for $350, month, $350 per month over four years. So that'll be 48 payments Four times equals four years times 12 payments a year, 48 payments. You'll take $350 out of your pocket, then you won't have to pay us anything else after that. In exchange, we're going to give you something valued at $11,500 today. If I want to get an annualized rate, I'm also going to have to convert this back into an annual when I solve for it. and it comes out to about 20% annualized interest. If you solve for the monthly rate, it's 1.667. And again, you can always check your numbers, but you set these up 
correctly the first time, they'll work every time. Number of periods in cell C39, payment in C43, present value C41, future value C42, monthly rate times 12 gives you an annualized rate. All right, Chastity is going to buy Fred's Lake House, going to give him 8000 every three months for the next five years in order, and then make a lump sum payment of 100000 at the end of the period. Fred thinks his lake house is worth 200000 Assuming he trades the lake house for this series of payment, what rate of return will he have earned on that series of payments? Okay, well, Chastity is going to make four payments a year. That's a payment every three months. There's four three-month periods in a year for five years. She's going to make 20 total payments of $8,000, and then she's going to throw in $100,000 as of the very last payment. So the last payment would actually be $108,000. be $8,000 PMT plus the $100,000 lump sum. That's called a balloon payment typically in uh, real estate. In exchange for receiving $160,000 in 20 equal installments and $100,000 in a single lump sum, that $260,000 total cash, he's going to give up something worth $200,000 today. And if we solve for that, what we'll be solving for is a quarterly interest rate. Well, there's four quarters in a year, so to get the annualized on an annualized basis, that's right around 7.71%.